Hi guys, um, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to fix up your code. Um, I've tried this video before, but I accidentally wasn't recording, so a bit of my mistake. Um, now, if mine looks any different and all that, um, it's fine. Now, what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to move a bit more into for loops, and we're going to create another variable, int i, int j, and we're also going to create another one, int um, j law now, obviously we're talking about the girl from the Hunger Games and lots of people like some of her pics, um, others like others of her pics and poor girl was caught up in a really, really stupid thing by, honestly, you might hate them, but people that are able to do that kind of hacking, it's, it's incredible. Okay? It's above the level that many of us will ever get with computers and all that. Um, now, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a second loop arm. We're going to do j equals zero. j um, less than 1,000. And i plus, oh, not i, j plus plus. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to do j law picks plus plus. Um, now outside of that for loop, we're going to do print f um, we're going to do gen law. And honestly, every time I do this, I think I'm Oh, last time we did this, I was thinking, am I doing um, Jude Law? I don't even know who that is. I just know the name. Um, picks have been viewed. Uh, percent, percent D um, times, and then end that line. Now, out here, we need to do the J Law picks and end that line. And now we're going to just run this through and show you what actually happens. Oops, um, that's my last time of running it through. Wait. Okay. There we go. So it's run through to 11,000 times in under a second. These pics have been viewed. Now, Basically, we'll go over a little bit in detail about what these, this actually does. This is going to be a bit slightly long tutorial. Now, again, we've initialized the value we use here. Sorry, that was caps locks. Um, initialized i. We've given i a limit of 10, and we're incrementing it by 1. Over here, we've initialized the value. We've declared its limit is less than 1,000. So when it gets to be 1,000 or more, it'll stop and we're incrementing it by one again. Now, here we're just saying, add one more to the J. Lawrence picks. Now, now outside of that for loop, we've got a printf that just tells us how many times the pick has been viewed. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a look at this. So, for the first run through of the for loop, it covers everything in here. So, when we start up this, little for loop here, it has to complete before it will move on to this next line. So this line here says that it needs to go run 1,000 times. So J. Lawrence picks needs to be incremented 1,000 before this loop will exit and print it off for the first time. And then once this loop breaks or ends, goes back to the start, and this value here is now 1. Then it runs through again. So Adds another one. Adds another 1,000 here. Sorry, I'm getting a bit confused between my um, fingers and my mouse arm. And then it prints off again. This time at 2,000. Then it ends the loop again. It goes up to two. This goes to 3,000 before it prints off. And again, goes. Whoop, I believe, now it goes to 4,000 at three. When i equals three, it goes through and hits 4,000 here. Now, all the way 
up until 10, where it reaches its total of 11,000. Again, because we've got a, a um, less than or equal to, if we had just a less than, oh, just look. this would not actually run at all. Wow. Let's see what I mean. Um, I hope. Wow. Um, I believe that this kind of proved my point a little bit better than I'd like it to. <laughs> I think I've crashed my little program. Um, so yeah, basically just remember, um, the for loop on the outside runs, but the for loop on the inside has to complete before it's allowed to progress to run the next for loop. So every single time, yeah, there we go. It took a while to run, but it says it only took 16 seconds. Um, a point 16 seconds. Now, in the olden days, like really old days now, um, before the for loop, if we wanted to do something like this and in our program and do it automatically, we would have to do a really annoying thing and print off this, 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 all the way down. And now, I don't know about you, but this really seems like it's very annoying, um, especially considering that the time it takes this to run, hopefully it starts responding again. I don't know um, what I ever done here that's making it so angry at me. Um, but yes, as it runs through, it's going to take a little longer than we would like. It took 0.17 seconds to run 60 times when, if you guys remember correctly, uh, the first time we ran the for loop, and I'll run it again just to make sure it's, everything's right. Um, so yeah, we'll run this one last time. And because this is perfectly, well, almost perfectly done, um, I'll add it zero. And we went in 0.16 seconds last time. So for in 0.24 seconds, this is said that oh, this is incremented at 11,000 times over me control copying for about 30 seconds. We only got to 60. So just take a look at these programs. Um, for loops are incredibly powerful and incredibly useful in all facets of programming. And it's just vital that you understand how this works. Um, you might not always use it, but you'll always use for, ifs, or whiles. Those are the pretty much the three main things that you get to use in this kind of uh, in programming. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, sorry about the length of the video. Um, again, this video was optional for those of you that bothered to read my little up to watch the last video and all that. And, um, aside from that, I'll see you guys next time. I have just seen a spider in my house and I've got to go get rid of it. So good luck and I hope you send me a good luck for that. I don't really like spiders. See ya.